Welcome to Lucas Brews. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I paint my German Wehrmacht infantry. I will be painting a mix of the German infantry and Africa Corps sets from Airfix in the 1939 to 1945 field grey uniform. To begin with, I wash the figures all at once in warm soapy water to wash off any oil and help the paint conform to the plastic. Then we can begin with the first coat. I begin using a very fine brush to gently apply slightly watered down XF15 flat flesh on the figure's hands, faces and arms if they have rolled up sleeves. After painting their skin, I paint their uniforms XF65 field grey, gently painting the areas that are clothed, including the field caps and taking care not to paint over their skin. If you do by accident, don't worry, you can easily touch up mistakes towards the end. The key to painting nice and cleanly is to follow the lines of the uniforms where the pants and the shirts end so that you don't accidentally paint over into the wrong areas. Once the main colour is finished, we can start to add the details. I use XF1 flat black next to do the figure's boots, suspenders, belts and their helmet straps. For the really fine details such as the straps, it's best to almost dry brush the raised details of the belts, meaning you dry the paint off a tiny bit on a paper towel before you start painting. That way it won't be watery and flow into cracks where you don't want it to get. Next I paint the helmets with a fine brush and XF63 German grey. I follow the raised contours of the helmet carefully so I don't accidentally paint over the face. I use the same technique when painting the German grey on the caps. After the helmets comes XF52 Flat Earth, which is used for the wooden parts of the rifles, the figure's canteens, their ammo pouches, knife handles and entrenching tools. The key is to use a very fine brush and follow closely the details. You can effectively dry brush even with the slightly wet paint onto the details such as the entrenching tools because of the raised detail making them stick out from the basic surface. The last of the final details to paint are done in flat aluminium for the rifle barrels, knives and the gas mask containers. Once again, using a very fine brush and being very careful with detail. After a final touch up, including a tiny bit of black on the rifle scopes and bolt action parts, the final two things I do to my figures are to give them a wash to darken the details and give them a weathered look and then to dry brush buff over highlights on their faces and hands and areas that would look dirty. I've included an image that shows what areas were painted what colour. It's also on my Instagram so you guys can go have a look at it there. For the wash, I simply heavily dilute Tamiya Flat Black and apply it all over the models. Then, once the wash is dry, I use some buff on a fine brush and go over the areas of skin on the figures. And with that, the figures are completed. Here you can see the final results after the wash with all the details nicely brought out and the buff applied to the skin which makes it a little bit lighter. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions or questions. And also our Patreon page was launched this month. So shout out to our first ever patron, Archie. Thank you very much for your support and feel free to check it out. Link in the description. Thanks again and model on.